What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we have some great news about the encryption keys that were published on the iPhone wiki today. So I'm going, I'm going to get into it. At first we need to thank to Axiom X for publishing the keys for the uh, S5L8942 application processor devices. And we're going, we're going to see which devices use this application processor, but what these keys are for. Well, you will be able to use them in the future for cool boot or dual boots, which does require a jailbreak unfortunately, and for Odysseus downgrades, which as well require jailbreak. Anyways, these are very important scenes. He published keys for devices that never had these keys published in the first place. So this is extremely important. We're going to go ahead in here. And if you take a look on the iPhone wiki, you can see that the S5 L8942 is basically the application processor included in the Apple TV third generation, in the iPod Touch fifth generation for which I have never seen keys before, the iPad 2, which is in fact the iPad 2.4, and the iPad mini. Uh, the iPad mini has three different versions, I'm going to check in here. As you can see, iPad mini uh, 2.5, 2.6, and 2.7. You should keep this in mind. The application processor is basically uh, Apple A5 uh, application processor, but it's the revision A, which means it's not the iPhone 4S one. It's basically a newer version. Um, and um, aside of that, these keys are now published. And as I say, they, they can be used for cool boot or dual boots in the future. And if you don't know what cool boot or dual boots are, you can check a tutorial in the description down below. It's also possible on older devices like the iPhone 4. So you can basically have two different iOS versions at the same time. On the iPhone 4, for example, I have iOS 7.1.2, the latest version, and I dual boot with iOS 6.1. something I can't remember, in order to switch in between. You know, I can switch to the iOS 6 when I want, and when I don't want it anymore, I can go back to my iOS 7. You know, that's basically possible on um, on devices, on 32-bit devices, since Cool Booter is only compatible with 32-bit devices, and all of them must have the keys for decryption in order to create a custom farmers in order to patch the um, all the things you know in the uh, in the necessary files. So let's move on to the next set of keys that were published, and now we're talking about Xerop. Now this uh, hacker in here is the author of the Extra Recipe Jailbreak, which is based on Mac Portal, as far as I remember, and uh, it's for iPhone 7, you should keep that in mind, um, iOS 10.1.1 um, and lower to the iOS 10. And so he published uh, today Quote, so the 5S iOS 10 boot chain keys are up at the iPhone wiki. I'll decrypt more later. CC, um, I add them in. So um, basically he is, he has actually published the iPhone 5S, which is a 64-bit device. It's the first time we see keys for the 64-bit um, the devices. And in fact, he did publish in the past keys for the 64-bit um, iPhone 5S, but he is the only one who is able to publish them, which is quite nice. Since you probably know, these keys require some hard work in order to get in, some hard exploits in order to get. Anyways, he published the first keys that I see for the iOS 10. You probably remember iOS 10 isn't normally encrypted. When iOS 10 has, has been released by Apple, it came out uh, unencrypted on the kernel side and the RAM disks and so on. But some of the components inside it are encrypted and I'm talking about the boot chain as Xerob mentioned and that is iBoot, iBSS and the iBag and also the LLB. Now these components are very important if you want to do research for you know iBoot exploits and so on. So without these keys you're not able to simply you know take a look on the iBoot and the iBoot code, the iBoot assembly output in order to find vulnerabilities in there. So this is very important. These are important keys for developers, maybe not for you as an end user right now, but they are important for the developers in the future and uh, they might result in something good. So for the moment we have downgrades with ODCS that will be possible due to this um, uh, this keys in here. Of course, you need to be jailbroken. You should keep that in mind, but a jailbreak is easier to achieve than extraction of these keys since the keys require you to have a, uh, a powerful exploit in order to extract them. Anyways, um, we have the Odysseus downgrades and also cool board dual boots. Now you're probably going to ask me about iCloud bypass and custom made farmers. Now these keys are not 
not uh, helping the iCloud bypass in any way, even though you are now able to, um, to decrypt some of the firmwares, uh, it's still required to have an exploit, a powerful exploit, probably as powerful as the one used to extract these keys in the first place in order to restore a custom-made firmware at this point in time, in July 2017. So. Um, this doesn't really help a lot the iCloud bypass. It it does help you with the fact that you can now decrypt the firmware and do modifications, but unless you can put your hands on the exploit, you're not able to um, to actually restore it. And these exploits are not really released very easy since if they get patched you're no longer going to have it and it's a pretty powerful exploit as you can see so we should keep that in mind if anything appears in the future like a uh, an exploit for the 32 bit devices and so on you will be kept informed but for the moment this is not for iCloud bypass although it helps a tiny bit in there to decrypt the um, the firmware you cannot restore it so it's still use useless for this thing but it's very very useful for other things like I say Cool Booter, Dual Boot, and Odysseus downgrades, and a lot of research in the background for hackers like Axiomix, like um, Xerub, and so on. So I'm I'm very glad these guys took the time to decrypt this firmware and so on, and put the um, the keys online. And uh, if you want to check them out, it's in the description down below. Also, if you want to learn more about Cool Booter and how you use it, it's in the description down below. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I'm Geo Snow. Peace out.